And speaking of people who actually need prayers, we have the house of Crazy Kenna because they are going through it. As in, Crazy Kenna is being attacked from every, every corner. Every time he stands up, he is a blow. Um, let me just give you a refresher, okay? Crazy Kenna is a very popular digital creator. He creates skits and does entertainment. He was even picked for um, the, um, the event in London where creators all over the world were handpicked and sent to um, London to... Um, to attend that event, whatever it was. Yeah, it was so he, a Google event? Or exactly. Yeah. He is mad talented. And in his house of Kenna, there's one Yvonne, there's um, Bushra, there's Afrikas. As in, the, he has a, a trio of ladies that he does the skits with. Yeah. And we love them. We've, they've entertained us. They're very relevant. They're very funny. But... There's been some speculations that there's somebody who's actually really destroying Kenna and his brand. And a few people are actually blaming Kenna's brother because they're saying, um, first of all, Crazy Kenna had launched a hotel earlier on. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. And remember. then it was a hit for a hot minute and then it was run to the ground. And somebody actually came up and said it's because he had the brother to actually be the management for the hotel. And, you know, one thing leads to another. You really can't fire your brother. And that... Uh, Crazy Kenna's brother being in charge or being management for him has been a source of controversy a few times. But now it seems like it's now spilling over to his creative side because a few people are speculating that the breakup between the three girls and Crazy Kenna is because of management. And who is management? The brother. Crazy Kenna's brother. So anyway, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, Crazy Kenna posts depression is real. And then one of the girls, Yvonne, actually uh, does a subliminal post on her stories and said, you know, toxic people trying to play the victim is actually very weird. Mm -hmm. And now you're like, huh? Kwani kuna trouble in paradise? Mm -hmm. Is it burning? What's going on? And then the other two girls actually unfollowed him. And then he went quiet. He took a sabbatical from social media after posting depression is real, a kind of missing. Until somebody spotted Crazy Kenna or somebody who looks like Crazy Kenna on Londiani Highway <laughs> talking to a cow. We don't know how accurate it is. We're not quite sure if it is, it is actually Crazy it Kenna. It really did look like him. And even the car mm. that we've always seen on his post yeah. did look like that car. It looked like he was really going yeah, through it. Yeah. But anyway, he has actually come out and put out a statement. And he says, my dream has always to be uh, to put a smile on as many faces as possible. Every day I wake up and I always embark on a mission to touch a soul through comedy. Anyway, he gave a whole spiel about how he is grateful for the community around him. He is grateful for the people who checked up on him. He will get better. He will rise back like a phoenix from the ashes. And at the end of the day, we only wish positive vibes for you. We because really we would be witches if we said, this is your downfall. Ha, ha, ha. Good for you. We hope you recover from whatever this is. We hope you're able to fix things between you and your crew and your team members because you're only as strong as the people around you yeah? yeah so if the other people are disgruntled or feeling some type of way figure out a way to fix things with them because Ome talk and Bali, they really have they have come from so far years, yeah from doing those skits in a bed sitter hey, somewhere looking, looking very ashy and crusty to them now you know driving cars and looking brand new you have really come so far we would hate for you to break up over something that could be actually be fixed yeah I feel like um, there are some people whose potential cannot be held Mm. And sometimes people try and push them down and try and put them down. And I think um, I've seen this happening a lot to Kenna because many, many times he's been put in spaces where people are like trying to constrict him and to limit his potential. And yet he's just, his mind is constantly just working. He's constantly just creating and creating and creating. I've never seen someone who does not stop. Like this man, give him a camera, he will come up with content. Mm. And we appreciate that about him. And we love that he's consistent, that he keeps giving us, you know, all kinds of comedy, including the most relevant things. Like he's always on the know. He's always in the loop with what's going on. And he's always trying to make that a creative bit so that all of us can enjoy whatever the whatever the situation is regardless of how dense and and heavy it is he finds a way to break it down and to make it easier in bite sizes and in a very comedic skillfully comedic way mm. so we love that for him in fact someone should give him a plaque for maybe not a plaque he already has like a bunch of plaques from youtube someone should give him a medal an award yeah. for this level of 
it or really this competence and consistency, right? Mm. But it seems that every time um, he's just breaking through, he's just about to get out of whatever it is um, that he's going through, something else hits him, right? And in mm -hmm. this case, it's no different. In this particular post, he did mention that he also has gotten a lot of messages from people who have been trying to... Um, what's, what's the work thing that we say nowadays when we say you want to end your life? Uh, analyze. Yes, they want to analyze themselves. He's been getting a lot of messages about people who want to analyze themselves, and it can be very heavy for him. So imagine, like, you're trying to create comedy, you're trying to create this air of lightness, and then people are just sending you all of these messages of, you know, sadness and depression and all of these. It can be very heavy for a person, mm -hmm. especially considering, I don't think it's strange to be a psychiatrist or a therapist to, to anyone, and therefore it can be very daunting just trying to navigate that step, and then you see that things are not... Um, falling on the wayside when it comes to work it is very very sad hopefully all this comes to some resolve and he's able to like get above it and rise above it and create even more comedy because we really need people like him so talented such a talented and so humble too he's such mm -hmm. a nice guy we hope that this um at the end he feels better whatever he's going through we hope that this sabbatical actually does give him the the release and the clarity that he needs crazy canal wherever you are you are loved not only by us but the rest of the country so keep doing what you're doing keep pushing we love and appreciate your comedy do you boo boo we love you moving on swiftly have you gone through situations like this and do you actually relate to what is going on with crazy canal with the family drama with his crew being um broken up or in shambles are you in that situation let us know we'll try and help you where we can maybe even this conversation will lighten your spirits